Hello everybody, in this video I will be unboxing the LG Digital Signage Screen which is the model number 32SM5J. I will be unboxing this screen and I will be also showing you how to upgrade the firmware using a USB thumb drive on these screens. So let's get started. first thing you will notice as soon as I take the screen out of the box is there's actually no screen protection on the front of the screen panel so this is how it just looks like I would assume there will be some sort of like a, a peeling uh, contact that would be protecting the front of the screen but there isn't but let me just plug in the power cable so we can start up the screen so the power cable is just right at the back we're not going to use the remote control just to turn it on. Here we go. Just turning on. Now with the LG screen, the digital Sony screen, it comes with the WebOS. So this is the WebOS splash screen. Just to take a little while to start up and you will boot up to the startup wizard screen. So if you haven't set this screen up before, you'll come up with the wizard screen here we go it's just launching and now with the wizard screen it's pretty straightforward just go through the options and make all the necessary changes so if you just choose the quick start normal configuration and just follow through the wizard so if you setting things like the name of the screen whether you need the clock changed and so forth now here's a little trick, you can use for example this Logitech keyboard just need to plug in the USB receiver into the USB port on the screen and then you can use the keyboard or a mouse to make all the necessary changes so you don't have to use the remote control to make the changes there you go you can also plug in a network cable if you want to connect it to the internet. Let me quickly go through the quick start menu and set up the screen. So once you've selected a quick start and press start, just accept the user agreement page, change the language if you needed to, the, for the continent select the corresponding continent you're living in I'm going to choose Oceania Australia and then select the state and then hit save so you can use the remote control to make all the selections or you can use the mouse and keyboard it's connected to the wired network press next you can change the screen rotation so if you had it in portrait select the screen rotation so that it changes that for the import just going to select HDMI and set the date okay it does have an NTP setting option so that it connects to the NTP server to make sure the clock is always updated to download the firmware for the LG screen for WebOS you need to go to the LG WebOS signage developer page you do need to have a username and password to log in to download the firmware so that's something that you need to have now once you logged in you just need to search for the version of the model that you have and then just click the download button and that will start downloading the file onto your computer but what you need to do is if you're downloading it to your thumb drive you need to create a folder called LG underscore monitor you need to have this folder because the screen is going to search for this folder and then if there is a file within this folder you would install the firmware file so here we go just make sure you click save and there you go it's starting to download the file just let it run the size of the firmware is pretty big one that I'm downloading is around 700 megs so it'll take a little while to download and just let it run and that's it once it's downloaded you need to plug it into 
the back of the screen there's a USB port on the back it's a USB 3.0 just plug in the USB thumb drive into that port now as soon as you plug in the USB thumb drive the screen's going to detect that there's a newer version of the firmware and you just select it and let it update the update process will take a little while so you just got to make sure you don't turn off the screen do not press the power button or do you, do you don't disconnect the USB thumb drive so just let it run until it hits 100% and that's it there you go so once it hits 100% the screen is gonna automatically re restart by itself if this video helps you in any way give it a like and subscribe to the channel